Today, I'm going to reinstall the baffle and then replace two broken fire bricks on this Regency I-2400 wood burning fireplace insert. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have the two baffle pieces here on the floor in front of the insert. So I'm just going to take the first one. I'm going to get it, work it up in there on top of that secondary air tube. I'm just going to very carefully slide it in. I'm going to stick my other hand in the back to catch it and kind of support it. And then I'm going to lay it right on top of these secondary tubes. Now this first one I'm going to slide all the way over to the left. And now that it's all the way over on the left, I'm actually gonna pick it up and slide it onto the top of the air manifold at the outside. So that's gonna give me the working room to slide in the second baffle. Now, you notice that on the edge of the baffle, there's a, a little tab here. So I need to make sure that I get the second one going in the right orientation, right? So this one's gonna lap on top of that other one. So and again, go up in here very carefully on the right hand side. I'm gonna do the same thing, get my hand under it, kind of guide it back, carefully lay it down. I'm gonna slide it all the way back and all the way to the outside against the edge. Then I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna kind of pick this up, set this really under, and again I'm going to work these so that they are slid all the way to the outside. So they should be tight to the outside and there'll be a slight quarter inch or so gap as you can see there in the middle where the baffles are overlapping. So that's all there is to it. The baffles back in. The fire bricks that need to be replaced are these two in the back right corner. And it'll be pretty easy to actually get the old ones out because they're, they're broken. So you can kind of wiggle things around. I may need to get a screwdriver in there to help me out. But we should be able to kind of just pop, pop these out because of the fact that they're broke. There it goes. So, here comes one. And now that that one's out, the other one will be easier. So, all right. The broken bricks are out. Just scrape away some of the ash that's left in here. Actually, why don't I lay down these two bricks as well while I'm at it and just get all of the debris out of that channel. All right, good. So now what we can do is go ahead and I'll slide these good bricks back into this side we still have some debris in that corner there's one there's two and next I have two brand new bricks here and so these are gonna go to the other side and get the first one let's see up in there slide that got some debris in the corner still still slide that on over and then the second one Get in here. Let's see what's going on here. Looks like it's 
tight at the bottom because we're not sliding all the way over into those bottom corners. All right, let's take a look at that. Doesn't take much to keep those in from the very outside edge. There we go. Now, hopefully, that just created enough space for this. And notice my technique is I put the top up under the retainer. And once I get the top up under the retainer, I can work at the bottom. Again, you got to have it really cleaned out of that channel. It may have been easier if I used a vacuum. Okay. All right. There it is. So just gotta make sure that it's really cleaned out in both corners in order to get that to, to fit right in there. But there it is. Two brand new fire bricks in the back of the firebox. So this unit is now fully ready to go for another burning season.